Davis. Let's join ISU Judge Gene Sim. Once again, in the men's short program, there are eight required elements, two of which are step sequences. This is an opportunity for the judges to evaluate something other than jumps and spins, and for the skaters to show off their edge control and creative footwork. There are three types of step sequences, and the skater must pick two different ones. One option is a straight line sequence, beginning either at one corner of the ice and ending in the opposite corner, or one that follows the long axis of the rink for the full ice surface. Another is a circular sequence to be skated in a complete circle or oval pattern using the full width of the ice. A third choice is a serpentine sequence beginning at one end of the ice and progressing in at least two bold curves to finish at the other end. In step sequences, judges watch for footwork that rotates in both directions, has a number of turns and movements to it, progresses well across the ice, and that covers the surface with good speed. By contrast, this sequence rotates only in one direction, doesn't have as much variety of steps in it, and so is considered less difficult. Step sequences with some pizzazz that suit the music are also credited. Good use of arms, feet, and multi-rotational turns to emphasize the musical highlights is impressive. Step sequences without much in them tend to get lost in a program. Sometimes, however, skaters are creative and perform a whole step sequence on one foot. Something special like that is an opportunity for the skater to impress and is something the judges will pick up on in their efforts to compare performances. So step sequences can make a difference. The judges seat from the 95 World.